Hello and welcome to our channel and today I wanted to show you this uh, <coughs> new TV I've got here. I've got this uh, Insigno with uh, Fire TV Edition and so on one of our last videos I was showing you what a problem I had with the TV and the travel trailer that you could it had a USB port in it but if you put something in it like I had a movie on it or something like that it wouldn't play anything you know all it would play is, is, is uh, uh, pictures and uh, and music and so I got this one and if this one does the same thing it's going back to where it come from so that's, without further ado let's open this box and see what we got now one thing right off the back is these feet that goes on here like this I hope you can tell but these are really deep down in here and unless you've got a good magnetic screwdriver, you're going to have a hard time putting them on. So, word of advice, if you get one of these, get you a magnetic screwdriver before you ever start. So, now let's see if I can get this other one on now. Okay, now this uh, little TV does have some features I like already. You know, because it's got a little audio out up here and you know most TVs now don't have that little uh, jack plug in them you know and it's got a USB port and, and three HDMI cables and here's where your coax goes in is right here and then you got that's for AV and that's for Ethernet right there and then over here is where you plug your power cord up so so far, so good. <laughs> okay, now I've plugged it up. I see the little indicator light here is on, which means it's getting power, I suppose. And then here's the remote you get with it. I'm not really crazy about that because I like numbers on my remote control. This don't have any numbers on it, so we'll see how we get along with it. I'll probably order me another one if it works out all right. Okay, now here's the problem I have with the one in the uh, that come with the travel trailer. I have movies and TV shows and, and uh, whatnot on on these little thumb drives here, and and I, you know, that's why I, I take them with me camping because if you go camping, you don't have any uh, reception on your TV and you don't have cable hookup, so you got these. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead, I guess I'm going to go ahead and turn the TV on before I try to plug my uh, uh, USB in the back of it. Uh, hit the power button. Now there's nothing that will come on because I don't have anything hooked up to this. And so far it's not coming on. Okay, now I had to finally hit the button down here underneath it to make it come on. Now, I don't know if that's because it just got so much... Uh, well, I got a little piece of cellophane on the end of the uh, remote here. That might have something to do with it. And got a little piece there. I'm going to leave that alone for the time being and see if it'll play with this. Now, next thing I want to do is set it up, you know, so it's, it's English. So you hit. Well, let me see if this tape down here has got anything to do with it. Okay, now I'm fumbling on through this thing here. I've had to take all the cell phone off of everything and get it to work. And you hit, so they asked me what language, and I said, uh, and that's picking up my, uh, it's picking up my network, uh, name here. Okay, now it says it's connecting to network. <clears throat> Checking for updates. See, I really didn't care if it did all this, cause, but but you all might uh, be glad I, I'm showing you this. Download the latest software. Guess you just click OK for that. But all I want, all I'm interested in, will it play those thumb drives? And will it uh, 
connect to an antenna. I want outside when I finish this in here. I'll go outside and, and do that. But uh, I, I don't imagine there's very many campgrounds that's, that's got good enough uh, Wi-Fi to let you play it. If they do, they're going to have a uh, coax hookup. And so I'll be back soon to get across there and finish his, uh, uh, doing the update. Okay, now it's just about finished this update. It took about probably 14, 15 minutes. Let's see where it goes to after this. Now I guess you can figure by Fire TV Edition, I got this from Amazon. And so I hope I don't have to return it because I don't like Amazon. <laughs> Uh, this will restart in a few minutes. All right, I'll let you know when it restarts. Okay, now it turned itself off and now it's restarting, I guess. So, I guess now I just hit the uh, OK button. I'm saying OK button, the button I'm pushing. No, you can't see that. It's too dark. Now it says uh, updating again, but anyway, the button I was pushing is here in the middle. Well, I'll be back when that finishes. Okay, now it went back to this screen again. So I'm going <laughs> we we'll hit that same button. Well, I didn't have time to hit the button to get that time. It was just went ahead and start playing Fire TV. I guess that's what it's doing. I don't really know. You know, the bad part about it is all I wanted to do is play that thumb drive <laughs> and many more like it. <laughs> you got to go through all this to get it to do that. Of course, I might be glad I got this when I get it in the camper. So we'll be back when this finishes. Okay, now it says scanning for networks. Well, because I don't have any networks here except for my Wi-Fi, it's not going to find very much. <clears throat> but we'll see what they come up with in a minute. Who knows what they? Who knows what they might have on this brand new TV? Oh. Look at all the stuff you got over there. And I guarantee you, if you go over here and click on one of these, that's going to say, try it out for 45 seconds, and then you're going to put something on your credit card. Wrong. We ain't going to put something on your credit card. <laughs> uh, thousands of channels, live TV, over 500,000 movies and episodes, Alexa voice uh, control and search, Sign in or sign up for a free Amazon account. I already have an Amazon account. So, that's, I want to go ahead and hit the full button just to see. I already have an Amazon account. Sign in your Amazon account. Screen will refresh when completed. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now I finally got all my information in on my Wi-Fi situation. Now it says your TV is designed with kids and parents in mind. No parental controls. I don't have any little children's running around, so I'll hit no parental controls. Now, see here, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Everything is free to add. You know, some will require payment for full access, though. So. I'm just going to set the no thanks for right now. And here comes your Amazon original stuff. Now that's pretty interesting. Right now I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put one of my USBs in the back of here see if it picks up anything or see if it'll play anything. Let me see where it goes. Right up at the top. 
Now this is what's going to determine whether I plug it back up or whether I carry it up to the uh, travel trailer. Okay, now it says view pictures, press menu. Alright, let's see if it starts it up. So far I'm not getting anything on my uh, on my thumb drive here, so I'm sure it's just me not to get anything. We at least get pictures and uh, stuff such as that. That's what I hate about these remotes. It doesn't have any numbers or anything on them. I mean, you just you sit down and read that little booklet for an hour or two to see if you can figure out what it is. But... Okay, now I finally got my thumb drive to come up here. Okay, and it says down here you can allow or deny for uh, gallery to access your photos and videos uh, and files on your device. So I guess that means pull them off your computer. I'm not sure I want it to do that yet or not. But the first thing I'm going to do is see if I click over here on videos. Well, yeah, you might have to go down here and do one of these to start with. Right now, yeah, now you go up here and hit videos and hit the middle button and see what happens. And we'll do it again. <laughs> well, let me see, maybe it's at your files. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to pull up anything. Okay, now I got it to pull these files up here. And you can see the. If you've never seen that movie right there before, Mojave Moon, you need to give that a try. <laughs> that was sort of a sleeper, you know. So, so just saying. But all these things I've got on here is good. If it wasn't, I wouldn't download them. But, but anyway, if you ever get a chance to watch that Mojave Moon. Angelique Jolene, that's a, that's a pretty good movie right there. It's sort of, well, what year did it say it was? Yes, back in 96. And I'll bet you there's not a lot of y'all saw it, but go back and see it. And just for the heck of it, because that's the one highlighted in the score. Hit the button to start and just see if it plays. Well, it's got the right amount of time on it. Of course, I'm going to stop this as soon as it shows anything because I don't want to get busted by YouTube. And there you go. Now that's playing that video. I'm going to stop it. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to try one more just for the heck of it to make sure it wasn't a flute. I'm going to try this Angel Heart here. That's a good movie too. So, hit the start button on it. And there it goes playing too. So, this is exactly what I want this TV to do. So, I can't, I don't care if it doesn't play anything else. As long as it did what I wanted it to do with that uh, thumb drive, that's all I care about. You know, it really is. And so, and we'll see if I can get it back to where I can show y'all how I got in there. And, let me go back one more time here. Yeah, okay. And there it says media player. Let me see if I can go back one more. Okay, you go to inputs. And you hit your in, inputs button. <laughs> okay, and then it comes up. Your media player and all this stuff. And switch input and video voice over here. And so anyway, you hit media player. I think. Let me go down here and look and see. Yep. Go to media player. Okay, and then there's your files up here where your files are at. And so that pulls up everything you got on your uh, thumb drive there. And see, I got enough on here to where I can uh, make out for a day or so when I'm capping in host. <laughs> So if I don't have any TV reception, 
Oh, and if you've never seen this, <laughs> the Borges, try to see that. That's a good show, too. I got some old stuff on here. That's the only way I could have the old stuff, you know. So, Crime Story is a good show. All these things I got on here, well, they're good to me or I wouldn't have them on here. But anyway, like I said, that's exactly what I wanted this for. And as long as it does that, I don't... I don't much care what else it does. But now, see, I'm not hooked up to anything except electricity. And so, until next time, I hope y'all have a real good and safe day. And I hope I didn't drag this out too much for you, but I just wanted you to see how this worked out. And I, I wanted you to, to uh, just see how the TV worked here. And it looks pretty good. Now, if I can find the Amazon, Amazon, uh, thing here. I will try to click on it just to show you if it works because I do have an Amazon account. There we go on Amazon. Hit that button one time. And see, now here's all the shows on Amazon. Of course, now you go have to have some Wi Fi. Uh, to be able to play the Amazon stuff, you know. So, but they got some good shows. This one, uh, this is one Kay's favorite shows here, yeah, and we stuff. never saw it from the uh, from the beginning. So we're going to go back and watch it from the beginning. And this thing won't leave me alone long enough. It starts playing something as soon as I click on it. So, <laughs> so until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day, and come back and see us real soon. And like I say, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making making it. So this Insignia TV, is 32 inch, is going to be installed in that uh, camper before it leaves leaves the lo its location, <laughs> you know, because we had nothing on the other TV. So so that's about it for now. So y'all come back to this real soon. I hope it's a little helpful for y'all if, if you like it, Insignia. And I'll tell you the truth, it sort of surprised me. I didn't I didn't think it would be quite this good, but it looks like it's pretty great. 32 inch LED TV, 720p, you know. So voice remote with Alexa. And oh yeah, this little note made in China. <laughs> so what else would you expect? <laughs> So until next time, this is last time. Goodbye now.